Greetings, fellow nerds. I'm sure I'm probably out here to re- Danger. Distilling nitric acid is dangerous. Don't try this at home. Thanks. Anyways, in this episode, um, we are going to be concentrating dilute nitric acid, which we've acquired quite a lot of from our last episode of playing around the chamber process, into this nice pure concentrated nitric acid, 68 to 70 percent azeotropic. So to do that, we're going to do a fractional distillation. So we're just going to pour all this acid into a distillation flask, equipped with a Vigrox column and a standard distillation set up on top of that, leave a condenser and all that. So, yeah, this is pretty much the first time I've been doing a fractional distillation on camera and explaining it, so hooray. So my flask is pretty full, and I'm, I'm not going to fill it anymore, otherwise it's going to escape. So there we go, and we're going to start heating it, and as you can see, I've turned into a baked potato with foil, because otherwise the heat escapes too fast. So, you can see it's boiling, and it's going up the thing, but uh, that's not really ideal, but it works. So yeah, you can see the temperature is also rising, and that's because, well, vapor is reaching the um, thermocouple. And yeah, um, fractional distillations are boring. You can see some orange gas, that's from decomposition of nitric gas. So let's go on to a um, time lapse. And you can see the temperature has now increased from 100 Celsius to 103 Celsius. Wow, what a change. Amazing, right? So yeah. I also stuck an th extra thermocouple in the Vigrox column, so you can see there's a 5 degree difference between the still head and the thermocouple. So let's go into a video for a more detailed explanation. But um, it boils at a um, higher temperature than water by itself does, like it boils at around uh, 110 C, I think. So 110 C. Meanwhile, the water boils at um, 100 C, of course. Well, depending on barometric pressure and all that, but we can ignore that for now. But you will find that um, the water, which I'm going to draw as a vapor, the water vapor actually travels up farther into the column before it condenses and refluxes down. So what you'll find is that... Um, the water is always a few steps ahead of the nitric acid, because the nitric acid boils at a higher temperature. And now, the cool thing about this is that, um, well, you can separate stuff very well this way. So, basically, with this, the nitric acid tries to go up, but it gets condensed and reflexes down. Meanwhile, the water is always a few steps ahead. And now, it is important to note that distillation is not a perfect process. You will not have perfect separation. There will be some nitric acid in the water, and there will be some water left in your nitric acid boiling flask. But it provides a good enough separation that um, you could get basically 99.999% resolution in your products. And this is why distillation is so useful in the lab. It allows you to separate things, which normally wouldn't really be easy to separate by any other method. Distillation is just great for separating stuff by boiling. There are some instances where um, fractional distillation doesn't really separate stuff very well. For example, um, acetic acid and water, it's infamous for being very difficult to separate by distillation. You can try distilling vinegar, but you won't really concentrate your acetic acid, even though acetic acid boils a, like, a few ten degrees, a few dozen degrees higher. And the problem with that is something to do with the um, evaporation rate and all that, but uh, yeah, we'll save that for some other time. But yeah, that's how a fractional distillation works. And that's really what's happening in our um, distillation, so let's go back to it. I've been collecting this intermediate fraction here for a while, and it's finally gotten to 110 Celsius. So we're going to swap it out and start collecting our concentrated nitric acid. This intermediate nitric acid is also pretty useful, though. 
And you can see the first dilute acid that we got over at around 100 Celsius is still acidic, uh, 3 or 4. The next one is 2 or 1. And our concentrated nitric acids, a 1 or below. So yeah, you can see there's pretty good separation. Although pH isn't really a good me measure of that, but yeah. So now you can see the distillation head is at 112, and the still pot's around 130, because there's some sulfuric acid contamination in there. And you, there's a lot of decomposition starting, and there's little liquid left, which that probably contains some sulfuric acid. So it's not really worth distilling any further. You can see there's quite a lot of red gas, so yeah. I don't think um, I'll be distilling this anymore to prevent contamination with sulfuric acid again. And yeah, so I'm just going to disassemble this um, distillation setup. And of course, I'm doing this in a fume hood to, uh, so I don't poison myself with NO2. And here's our final concentrated nitric acid, around 100 milliliters from 300 milliliters of dilute. And yeah, that's it for this video. See you in the next one. Yeah. Yeah.